Nadeka Nikolai, a former member of the European Parliament and former prosecutor. Neither me nor Beatrice are victims in this case. Behind this, there is another purpose for all of this investigation. They've been detained for something they've not done without evidence. You also mentioned they could destroy the CCTV. They came into our homes, raided our homes. And people and think I'm crazy saying this. You know, the real victims right now are Andrew Tristan and the two other girls being arrested. I don't believe, because I know them personally, unless you give me clear cut, like we're oh, saying to you, show me oh, clear oh, cut proof. The only thing I gotta say is I'm not a victim. You're clearly not a victim. You've spoken out and no one is taking that seriously, which shows such corruption at such a high level. The prosecution put forward two victims, and this is one of the alleged victims I'm going to interview. I'm joined by Suleiman Ahmed, also in the interview, who is a neutral investigative journalist. I'm sure after this video, your minds will change whether you are against him or not. You're going to see the truth behind the Tate's detention in Romania. Just to introduce myself, I, th I know we've never met. I'm Tam, Tam Khan. I'm an old, old friend of Andrew. And for me, this whole case is very personal in a way. I'm a Suleiman Ahmed, I'm an independent journalist. I have no connection to the Tates whatsoever. And the basis for this is to get down to the bottom of exactly what's been happening and what the facts are. So thank you very much for joining us. Jasmina, when did you actually meet the Tates? It wasn't long after I moved back to Romania. It was in the beginning of 2021. Why do you refer to the Tates as family? Why do you call them family? Because they are family. You know what I've been saying for a long time? Family doesn't necessarily mean that you're you have the same blood or DNA with someone. I got to know them and I saw how good and kind and how hardworking they were. So they became family really fast. So how do the Tets treat the women around them? They have never been aggressive in any way. They won't just like ignore someone if you try to talk to them. Moving more onto the case, you released a video and in the video you mentioned that the house that you were living in yourself was your house. Can you just clarify that for us, please? They raid my house that I am renting right. with another friend, and it was their house. And the house I am renting, I, I have a landlord. She has nothing to do with them at all. You also mentioned Deco destroyed the CCTV. How do you know this? How did you... Um come to this conclusion? Because obviously I am directly involved in the case. So it's a, it's the law, the authorities and the lawyers, they have to inform me about stuff too. So they just threw it off the case. They're not using it as yeah. anything. Okay. Yeah. So that was confirmed by the Tate's lawyers that they weren't including any of the footage throughout this entire period. So my question to you is, why do you think they destroyed the evidence or did not want to include the evidence into the case? Everyone can see this from the outside. This case is full of corruption. Obviously, they don't want them to get out of the arrest, right? They want to keep them there as long as possible. And they have no proof in this case. So what they're trying to do is just like keep them there for longer so they will like look for more evidence that doesn't exist, more evidence that they will never have because there has been no crime committed whatsoever. The BBC, I think Gondal and the judiciary confirmed you and Beatrice are two of the alleged victims. Can you confirm this to us? And how do you know you are actually confirmed as a alleged victims? After they got arrested, that's when I found out that I was a victim in this case. And I was, I never gave my st statement as a victim. So I was very shocked and surprised it even happened. And I did give in total three statements. Yeah, three statements in total. And two of them were given after the second raid, after 29th of December of last year, when they got arrested, and it was totally ignored and not approved. Just to clarify, what you're saying is you could give live evidence, but what they're trying to do is discredit that evidence by saying that they've brainwashed you. Yeah. But did they give you any explanations as to why? No. They gave me an explanation uh, that uh, this is the procedure. This is why we have to do this. But they haven't, they, they haven't given me an explanation about why they are not approving my statements and uh, why am I'm being ignored, why I'm stated as a victim. I, I've got no, I tried to talk to them a lot of times, but no one is listening to me. You mentioned in a number of videos that you asked De Descartes to remove you as a victim. What explanation did they give to say that they will not remove you? None. They are completely ignoring me. 
in the first statement ever that we gave in April, I clarified the whole case, how it happened. I answered all the questions as the truth. And if you read my statement from April, even those from now, anyone could see that everything that's been assumed it's a lie it's a huge lie i mean that is huge because what you're essentially saying is the witness statements are so damaging to the prosecution and that's the yeah. reason why they don't want to include it they came into our homes raided our homes and then they took us to the police section they said okay you're gonna be interviewed you're gonna give your statements and i asked them what's the reason and they said, no, you're going to figure it out later. You're going to find out later. Right. But what do you think it is, what you've said, is a reason why they will never file them or produce them? In my witness statement. Yeah. Well, the truth. I am speaking the truth. I've been saying the truth always since April of last year. And that's what they want to avoid. They want to avoid a voice and they want to avoid people finding out the truth in the first place because that will mean that they will, the case will be done they will lose the case. And that's what they don't want because they have so much go going on behind. Elections coming up in 2024, you have the leadership spot open in the decode, which our which the prosecutor wants. There is so much more to this case that people don't see. You only see what media brings and those are just assumptions. Yeah, so I just wanna summarize what you're saying is, you are not a victim, you consider the Tate as family, yet the judiciary and the prosecutor are ignoring you. Now, yeah. one last argument people have is you've got Stockholm Syndrome. And what that means is that the Tates were basically controlling you. And so you're brainwashed into saying these things. So I wanna, we wanna ask some questions about that. So the first question is, did the Tates control you? No one has ever controlled me, not even my parents, okay? There is be, being controlled, it's, that's a big word. And do I seem like the girl that is controlled? No, no, no one was ever controlled. What decisions did you make on your own, for example? It must sound too crazy knowing, just looking at your characteristics and mannerisms, it doesn't look like a victim to me, you know, already just from the way you look, your presence and uh, your, just your kind of like character is quite positive, you know? But these questions just to silence a lot of the critics and the biased media. So a lot of them say, like, what did you decide on your own? What kind of like decisions did you make? Just for example. I can just say everything. Because <laughs> okay. I decided everything for my own. I cannot say that they've ever decided anything for me or no one else. I chose to speak out right now because I wanted to. And I'm a really personal and private person. But you know, when you see your family and your close, closest friends being punished for crimes they didn't commit, then, then you obviously stop and go out with that so no i've always made my own decisions i've always done whatever i wanted to do there has never been a ground on holding me back on doing anything so um so there wasn't a scenario where you were trapped or locked up in the tate's house never and no one has ever been trapped in their house when i do podcasts or i speak about this everyone asks me the same question so i'm gonna have to ask you is there any kind of clear cut proof or evidence if they brought to you to say that Tate did a crime, would you accept it? Is there anything they could show you which may, would make you think, okay, you know what? I'll accept they've done something. What would it take for you to accept there's a crime? There has been no crime made. And the, there, there will not be a crime. When it comes to them, they, they are very straight and forward going for, for people. They don't like crimes. They, they are very good people. So whatever, whatever the police, the, the authorities, whatever people might bring out as a crime, I, I can say from now, I, I don't believe in any of it. But this is a hypothetical question. And the question is this, let's say there's a hypothetical scenario where the Tates did commit a crime that you weren't aware of and there was some video evidence, would you accept it? I would accept it, but as I said before, I, it's very hard to even think of that. Based on your own experience, you just don't believe that there would be? Absolutely. And that's important because if you were unwilling to accept that they would, could ever commit a crime, that could be an indicator that you were brainwashed, but obviously you are saying to us right now, 
if there was unequivocal evidence that they did, you would accept it. But just that you know based on your experience that you wouldn't. Is that right? No, no. I, and I understand a lot with this because when I speak on the same thing, I said, I don't believe a thing. You can give me 1,000 witnesses. I don't believe because I know them personally. Unless you give me clear cut, like we're show saying to you, proof. show me show clear me cut proof. proof. And until and that day, yeah. Believe. Exactly. Unless you show me the proof, There's nothing. I can never say yeah. that's true. And people and think I'm crazy saying this. And this case, as, as I'm so in, involved in it, I obviously know there is no proof, but like in general, talking about it, no, I will, I will never, I will accept if you give me proof, 100%. But unless you give me proof, which they haven't given out either when it comes to this case, I, I don't believe anything. Yeah, I think that highlights their characters. People who personally know them, they laugh that we kind of like are like impossible. That's why we say this again. People can't resonate with us. They don't understand because they don't know them personally. And that's why you have the same reaction I do. I've been speaking out now for a long time. Obviously, I've tried to reach the authorities and the police, and that didn't work out. There are many things around the media which are lies, and I, I really want everyone to stop looking at that and start looking into the truth and what we show as proof and start believing what's right, not what's wrong. Because people talk about me being brainwashed and having the Stockholm syndrome. And yes, I've been reading the comments on Twitter, but those people that write those exact comments are the ones being brainwashed. The only thing I got to say is I'm not a victim. I've never been a victim. No one has committed any crimes and people that have done nothing wrong are paying for and I think uh, after yeah. speaking to you, and this is the first time I've spoken to you and ever met you, and um, it's just scary for me. I want to add to this before we finish is you're clearly not a victim. You've spoken out and no one is taking that seriously, which shows such corruption at such a high level where you've got people's lives on the line and yeah. they're still ignoring it and people ignore it. And I say it all, all the time, whether you like the Tate's content or not, that's nothing to do with it. I don't mind. But this is not fair. This it's is human, human rights violation. Yeah. And I can't see with Romania on this magnifying glass in front of the whole world, they can get away with this. It's sickening. I just want my family to come back home and, you know, I want justice to be made, obviously. There's always been corruption in Romania, but this is a whole other limit. I think, uh, yeah, I think the Romanian population themselves should take a look at this, take away their bias uh, ideas of the Tates and think anyone could be a victim, anyone could be perpetrated or a... Convict, so it's, it's dangerous. You know, the real victims right now are Andrew Tristan yeah. and the two other girls being arrested. They are victims of the corruption and victims of the authorities. That's the fact. Those are the real victims. And it's the police and the authorities. They are the guilty ones. They are the ones that should be paying for punishing people that have done nothing wrong. Yeah, and and us. And We're also victims because we suffer seeing our family and closest friends being punished for nothing. I think the biggest fear most men have is this. You come now, based on what's happening to Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, every man should be in fear. Every woman should fear for their brother, husband, or son. Because basically what they're saying is, you can accuse someone of a crime. The victim can say they did not commit the crime and you can still send them to prison. If that's what humanity means, I, I want nothing to do with it. That's not being human. And I don't even understand how the, the people working on this case can sleep at night knowing all this. Because there are people suffering. A lot of people are suffering out there because of what's happening to them. Yeah. How can you feel safe? And of course, there will always be haters, but I've seen all those supporters. And honestly, for Andrew and Tristan right now, and say that we all appreciate your support, and being there, that's really helpful. That's the real vaccine we need. Right, thank you so much for your time and for taking our questions. A lot of them were detailed and I know it's, it's difficult based on the situation that you are in where you're stuck and have explained that you're not a victim and yet you're being forced to be a victim, most likely because they want to discredit your witness testimony in live court. Um, so anyway, thank you very much and uh, much appreciated. Thank you too. Thank you.